Today, students returned to Appalachie High School 20 days after the deadly shooting unfolded in one of the school's hallways. Students are only attending half days until fall break next month. Then they'll return to a full school day. Tonight, for the first time since the shooting, the school board met for a work session. And while many questions still remain about the shooting, the suspect, and the investigation, the board's main focus right now is getting resources in place as they work to get back some sense of normalcy. 11 Live's Cody Alcorn was at that meeting tonight. He is live for us now in Winder. Cody, today was the first of many challenges ahead for the district. Yeah, that's right, Jennifer. Of course, a day many have struggled with. Was it too soon? Is there really a right time to bring students back? Well, today, students at Appalachian High School had an 88% attendance rate and teachers were at 95%. During tonight's meeting, the board voted to expedite funding for temporary classroom pods, which we built on Appalachian High School's campus. About 30,000 square feet of school space is closed off where the shooting happened, which was in Jay Hall. This included the social studies classrooms. Those students are now being bused to a former elementary school now known as Chi East. These temporary leased classroom pods will keep those students on campus and should be in place by January. Of course, security is top of everyone's mind. The Barrow County Sheriff asked for an additional eight school resource officers, which would put an SRO in every school across the district. Right now, there are 17 SROs. The additional eight will allow both high schools to have multiple and middle and elementary schools to have at least one SRO, which a couple of parents who showed up tonight say is not enough. We need metal detectors, which will deter a student from taking something into that school. Well, there was a lot missing, like, what are we going to do for security going forward? I appreciate the um, sheriff's office. Uh, we're going to add uh, eight more um, officers. Metal detectors were not brought up tonight. There was no public comment. There were about 40 people who showed up, but about 98% of those folks were either faculty or staff. Now, next week's board meeting will have public comment, and that is when we expect a lot of parents to show up and question this board about the events leading up to the shooting, of course, how things unfolded after the shooting. Up until this point, the uh, Board of Education, they have not taken any questions from us directly, only releasing prepared statements. Of course, we'll be at that board meeting next week. In Winder, Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News. Yeah, a lot of parents still looking for answers. Cody, thank you so much.